Yo guys, what's up and welcome to my latest tutorial. In this video, we'll be going through what it takes to make your own custom character in Blender and making it playable in Unreal Engine 5. The reason I've been wanting to do this tutorial is to show you guys that it's really not as intimidating as you might think. And this will help you get started with game day. So you want to start off by clicking Shift A and then add a mesh, a UV sphere. This will be the character's head. If you go into sculpt mode and you turn on the mirroring, you can just adjust it a little. So you can really just have fun with this, you know, a wise man once said, there's no mistakes, just happy accidents. You just want to go ahead, sculpt your character. I just duplicated the head again. I want to make the head a little bigger. So it's a cool little character. And then for the legs, I'm just going to duplicate the body. Go into sculpt mode. Change up the legs a little bit. You know, just really have fun with this. You guys can really just do anything you want. So we're just going to give him some sharp feet, calves. Okay, just make it a little shorter. That should be good. I'm going to click on both of them, Control J. Add a mirror modifier. And then just click on the object, mirror it on the Y axis. Looks pretty good. Duplicate this, rotate this. Bam, we have a little character. That looks pretty cute. So next thing you want to do is you just want to select all of it, click on object, convert to mesh. That's going to apply all the modifiers. And then you want to also click on all of them, click on the middle one, press Control J to join. And then the last thing, right click, Shade auto smooth. That looks pretty good. Next thing you want to do is add a material. And then I'm going to just make it like a little metal man. You can really do whatever. You can make a flower man, a fireman, whatever you want to make. Um, so, also, just last thing you want to do is just make sure it's on the ground level there. And then just press Ctrl A and apply all transforms. Okay, so now that we got our character, we're just gonna click on it, go to File, Export, FBX. Navigate to the folder you wanna to navigate to. Click on my path mode, make sure it's on copy. Make sure selected objects is checked and then just mesh. Don't worry about the rest. Call this Metal Man, or whatever your character's name is. So the next thing you wanna do is you wanna open up Mixamo. Just go to Mixamo.com, click on Upload Character, Drag and drop your character in there. But once it's uploaded, just make sure it's rotated correctly. Click on next. Put the chin by the chin, the wrist by the wrist, elbows by the elbows, the knees by the knees, the groin by the groin. So just click on next. Just let it cook in the Mixamo microwave. And bam, our character's got some light. Looks pretty good. I just want to click on next. Next. Now that our character is standing here in a T-pose, we're just going to click on download. And then, yeah, just download. Next thing you want to do is you want to go and search for idle animation. We're just going to use one of these bad boys. Pretty sleek. Click on download. Then click on without skin. Uniform. 30 frames per second. Next up, you want to search for a walk animation. And then make sure it's in place. Just look for one you really like, you know. I like this one. Same settings without skin, click on download. Next up, you want to go and search for run. It's one I really like drunk run forward and then in place click on download about skin also you want to just get a jump animation get one of jumps one of loops nicely like this it's gonna work the best click on download and then also Make sure that settings is applied. 
Cool, so now we can start off with Unreal. So you just want to go ahead and create a third person template. You'll see once we start this up and you press play, you have your third person running around. All standard. So next up, you want to go ahead and we want to import our character. So you just want to go to content, create a new folder, just say Metal Man. And then you want to start off by importing the T-Pose we downloaded earlier. So the one is just called Metal Man. And then click on Import All. Don't worry about the errors. So here you can see we have the Metal Man. We're just going to go ahead and fix the texture a little bit. So to make it more metallic, we're just going to go ahead and put a constant in here. We'll just give it a value of 1. We're going to duplicate this. Open the roughness, give it a 0 0.1. It was like a really chrome-like type metal man thing. Cool. So now I'm going to make a new folder, call it animations. Double click on the animations and then just import these four animations. Just drag and drop it in there and then select your metal man skeleton import all then you can see we got all the animations and they look pretty good click on save all right so now we can start with the coding go to your third person template click on blueprints go ahead and duplicate your third person character call this bb metal man you can open this up, go to your viewport, click on your mesh, go here by skeletal mesh asset, search metal man, whatever character you used. You can see it's a little big and rotated wrongly. Just click here on the reset values. And then also let's just give it a scale of like 0 0.3. That should be fine. And you also want to just drag this to the bottom. Click on compile, save. The next thing you want to do is you just want to go into the world settings and then the default pawn class we're going to make bp metal man click on play and you can see we have our metal man so now we need to do the animations now we want to do the animations go to metal man and click on create animation blueprint call this abp metal man and then another thing we want to do is we just want to create a blend space call this BS metal map you can do a one dimensional one but we're going to use a 2d one to future proof your game for you okay so now we're going to go into your BS metal man just open that up just go here to the horizontal axis and call this direction minimum axis value minus 180 maximum axis value of 180 so that's going to be your direction and then we have one another one that's called speed that's by vertical axis and then just make the maximum value 600. so next thing we want to do is we want to add the idle animation at the very start and then we want to add the walking one at around 150 and then we want the running one at 600. So that's blend spaces. <laughs> okay, just click on save, close this up. Go on to your ABP Metal Man now. So this is your animation blueprint. So the first thing you want to do here in the anim graph is you want to go ahead and search for state machine. And then you also want to just drag this off and add a default slot. You're going to want to add this default slot for if you want to play like animation montages and stuff inside your blueprint um, so next thing you want to do is just go into your new state machine you could just call this whatever you want let's call it movement double click on this from entry add a state call this idle slash warp slash run double click on this and then add your blend space in there so you want to go ahead, promote this to variable, 
promote this to a variable. Now we got direction and speed in here. Compile this, save this, go into your event craft, go here and say cast to BP metal map. Okay, so all you want to go do now is you want to get the velocity to get the speed. So let's say get velocity. And then also just to get the direction, you can just say get actor rotation. And then we're just going to do some quick maps here. So to get the velocity, we just want to get that in a float value. So you can just say vector length. Also, drag this off and say calculate direction. And then just plug that inside as well. So we've got two values. One is direction, one is speed. So just drag speed, set speed. Click on play. And then add in your direction. Get direction, set direction. Drag it in there. Connect it all up. Cool. So that's all working now. And if you go into your BP Metalman character, just click on Mesh and then search for AVP Metalman. Uh, okay, my rotation is roll. So I'm just going to rotate it correctly there. Shouldn't be a problem. Let's just double check. Cool, we can see our man is in here and he's walking around. Okay, so now we just want to add that fancy little jump animation. So for the jump animation, we're just going to do something real quick. We're going to go ahead, we're going to create a new variable. It's already a boolean. And we're going to just call it jumping. The question mark. Then you will just want to search here for is falling. So that will give you a variable boolean variable and then just say set jumping drag it in there connect that up so that will give us the jumping variable next thing we want to do just go here into your animation graph by movement and then we want to drag a new state add state call it jumping so we also want to be able to return to the idle walk around state if we go to the state so also just drag it up drag it to there. So this is the conditions we want to set. So here, we're going to just say jumping, get jumping. So if jumping equals true, it should enter the jumping state. And here we can say, say jump, get jumping, if jumping equals false. It should enter back to the idle walk run state. The last thing we want to do is we just want to go into this state. Let's take your jumping animation and connect it in there. Right, and that should do it, guys. So now you can just press play. See, we got a little delay here. So what we want to do is we can just go into the animation, jumping actually just take this part click on remove from 0 to tw uh, 20 and then before it falls now it can be nice and short remove frame 10 to 9 and save see how that is okay so that did it Cool, I hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial and you were able to follow along. Just let me know if there's any questions and I'll do my best to answer it. Be sure to like and subscribe for more content like this and check out my other videos.